So I'm going to do a video on culturing pods and how easy it is. Um, I think a lot of things happen, like people overthink it, but it's pretty easy to do it. And it's hard to see right now, but there's like a bazillion of little baby pods in the water. They're like red. And basically, I live in Colorado, and the weather can get pretty cold, and it's December now. But I still have them sitting outside in the sun. Um, so, just plastic containers. And um, kind of whatever debris you have from your... I would put like these... Um, filter floss things from that you can get in like Petco uh, for like five bucks and put in your aquarium and let them get like super yucky and then uh, put them in here and you know basically the water will take a few weeks and it will turn green um, from the light um, just make sure that the water doesn't freeze. I do have a heater in here in case it's going to freeze um, so I can turn it on and warm up the water. And then in here, it's also just Chato and tank water. Um, so what you're getting here is like pretty much it's like its own phyto it starts making from the water from your aquarium um, so the water turns green and the pod population goes crazy so basically all you need is water from your aquarium um, you need that yucky stuff that comes from your, um, filtration, like I said, like the filter floss or a sponge or something like that. Um, basically it's cyano and it gives your phyto, I think, like growing ability. Um, and then the water turns into that, which is super green um so i leave these lights on all the time you can buy them on um like i guess i could probably show you the box you can buy them on amazon um pretty cheap um so that light i guess i don't have a box for it um but let me turn it off so that's the light and it's 20 watts nothing crazy um, this is a grow light that I have you can also buy those red grow lights um, to do it with so it works pretty well again leave the lights on for 24 hours a day um, I also have a bucket over here that is growing, uh, thisbies. So those are all, all, um, tigger pods. These guys are thisbies and they seem to like the, the dark. It's hard to kind of see them, but there's a ton of them. And basically what I did the same thing. I took water from my aquarium. I filled this thing up. I threw some rocks, some Cheeto in there and some filter floss from my aquarium. And then I threw in the Thisbees and um, there's also some um, ap apocalypse pods, I think they're called. 
in there and they're doing really well. Um, and over here I also have some more tender paws. It's hard to see, but there's millions of them in there. Um, it's just the lighting, it's hard to see the babies. So what you end up seeing is mainly adults. Um, so I can show you actually, cause I'm gonna go get, I'm gonna go fill. So maybe you'll be able to see some of the babies. Fill this thing to feed my mandarin. Um, do here is just go in right with my bottle. I don't even filter. I mean, you can filter, but I'm not going to. And just suck up all of these babies. And I'm going to go over here and suck up some of these. see them better now obviously they're kind of moving away from the but that gives you a better look and that's no filtration or anything like that like I don't sit, you know the micron thing you can do that um, you won't get any of this water but I feel like this water is good for your tank because it's I feel like it's a form of phyto or at least that's what I see on my microscope. Um, so, and again, I don't feed these guys. Maybe once a month, I'll make some uh, spirulina and just throw it in there um, just a little bit, but very, a lot of water and maybe a half a teaspoon of, so let's say like 16 ounces of water and maybe like a half a teaspoon of spirulina powder. Um, so again, I think if you give it enough time, your culture will just turn into phyto. You know, like it's green. I don't put any phyto in there. This is such like amazing water for pods you know to be in because it's just it's got natural food I can leave it for weeks and over here I'm just making my own phyto and there's no air none of these things have air I just shake it up sometimes and this one you know the same thing I just leave it here and add some into these guys I actually add some um fertilizer this stuff i think regular fertilizer is fine too from uh like miracle grow or something but this is what i'm gonna put into my tank you know and like all these babies it's so hard to see there we go maybe that's better you know and this is so healthy for your tank and it's so easy to do. I, was, I struggled for such a long time and doing all these crazy things and feeding them rod hive furs and feeding them everything you can imagine and spend so much money when it's actually so simple. It's um, just the algae from your tank. Um, the cyano that turns into phyto after a while um, if the lights are on all the time. So it's kind of like uh, anybody can do it. You don't need anything special. I mean, look at this container. I think it had my kids um, candy in it or something like that. Um, so I noticed that the outside cultures do better than the inside ones, um, but the thisbees are actually doing really good inside. They seem to like it. I don't think they like cold weather very much. And I'm in the basement. It's about 66 degrees down here all the time. Um, and 
the Tigger Pods love it. Um, I think the Thisbees are okay with it. Um, I think it's an okay temperature for them. They might want it like a little warmer, um, but they're okay. I mean, you can still see them here on the surface of the water. If my camera would focus. There you go. See all those like little specks? Um, so. And then they go moving away. I don't know if you saw them swim away. But. So that's it. That's the end of my video. Um, I hope you guys liked it. I just wanted to share and like just explain how simple it really is so that other people don't go crazy um, trying to figure this stuff out. If you have any questions, um, feel free to leave them in the comments.